Hello, my friends. Welcome to another exciting episode in our effect series. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create your custom made abstract backgrounds like this inside of Photoshop. You don't have to worry about downloading these backgrounds. Just create yours, right? If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on post notification. Without having to say much, let's get started. So for this particular exercise, we're just going to use any image, but I'm just going to have this selected and I'm just going to drag in like this. And this is a nice looking image. So click on the padlock to get rid of it like that. And um, right click and convert it to a smart object. Go to filter and uh, apply Gaussian blur to it. Make sure the blur is not too much, right? And um, somewhere along, make sure it's not completely blood out so somewhere around here is good so next thing you want to do is click on adjustment layer and um, click on gradient map right so when you click on gradient map you can choose from any of the selected you have the blues you have the purple you have the oranges you can choose from any one of the selected but for me i will just simply go for this one here inside of the purple and i'm going to use this right so the next thing I'm going to do is um, go to curves. Now, inside curve, a couple of things I want to do. So I'm just going to click on points to follow this um, this slope that I already have here. So I'm just going to click and follow. You can see how this background is coming to life. So just follow this and follow this like this, right? So basically what I'm just doing is following the slope so I can put a point here and bring it down or either take it up or take this point up. You can see how it went from how it was to how it is now, right? So now that is not the end of everything. Now to make it even more better, I would add, um, I can change this around. You can see how this is done. If I decide I don't want that gradient, maybe I want this. And if you zoom in, you can see that it has this, um, this point sharp edges go to image go to mode and change it to 16 bit channels click ok and voila it's gone it's smooth things everything all right so uh, this is what i'm using for this now to balance the whole thing up you can then go ahead and go to um, curve again and this time you're doing something different with the curve right i'm increasing it to the top and bringing it down like this to form an s shape this is so the image itself has contrast right so um when you're done with everything you can uh, um, add noise to it um it, this is optional but i choose to always do this when i'm creating backgrounds like this so you just add a little bit of noise make sure it's set to gaussian and um it's not too much and click OK like this, depending on the image. Yeah. So you can see you can do this for every other files that you have. And um, I'm just going to impute my text like this, drag and drop um, inside like this. I'm going to move the text to the top so I have a good feel. So most times in your designs, your design doesn't have to be a plain background or you can have something like this for a background. And um, the good thing is you can actually create it. Let me control the noise, reduce it and click OK. All right, guys, this is everything that has to do with creating an abstract background inside of Photoshop. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend this video to other persons like you that need this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.